The tragedy of people not getting recovery, today and age, honestly, with fentanyl, is death. You know, we had, we were talking yesterday about a chosen perspective of recovery, MAT, and that we may not all agree with it, but it's, it's not about our personal path and what we agree with. At the end, the goal is the same, recovery, and what recovery means to each and every individual is different and it's personal. If it's, as long as it's growth and it's movement in the right direction, who am I to say no? And, you know, someone else, you know, commentated and said, well, you know what, maybe if MAT was offered to my son, he'd still be alive today. That's the tragedy, that recovery isn't made accessible for everyone that needs it. We're trying to solve problems as far as public education, advocacy at a legislative level, um, public awareness, the media, addressing the stigma both internal and external. Everybody serves a different purpose. Therefore, if you don't know what's out there, you're not gonna know who to pick the phone up and call. You're not gonna know who to suggest to the guy who needs help on the street or perhaps the coworker who starts talking about their son or daughter who is struggling. And so the stakes are high in terms of understanding that that addiction, uh, it doesn't discriminate and it affects every walk of life, no matter what socioeconomic status is, whether you are the doctor's son or you are a homeless person. There is always a resource for you in order for somebody to get help. And that's what this is, is to bring all the different organizations, professionals, and bring awareness to something that the nation as a whole is suffering from. I never felt like I fit in. I always felt like I needed to do more than I could be. I wanted to be perfect. You know, as Someone in recovery, it takes a very personal meaning for me. And as also a professional that works in the field, I work with families and I work with individuals seeking recovery on a daily basis. You know, I get phone calls every day for people seeking help. However, what about the son? What about the daughter? What about the father? What about the son that's calling, that's in crisis, that doesn't know where to go and doesn't know where those services are accessible? So one of the things one of the missions of the RCO is to make recovery more accessible and make it known how to access those services and also to listen to the community because we're not the be all end all and know all. There may be services that the community brings to light hopefully today in our listening sessions at, at the Cafe Conversations that we can help if it comes to light we want to be there to serve the community because that's really what it's about. You know, one of the things recovery's given me is um, a beautiful life today. You know, I'm a son to my father again. I'm a husband, you know, to my wife, and I'm a father to my children, you know, and I wouldn't have any of that without recovery. Recovery is truly the gift of life, and um, just being able to give that back is, you know, on a, on a personal level, you know, and on a professional level. It's, it's my responsibility.